Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Maxillent Build Orders, where I show you some build orders and how to play them, basically. Today I have a build order for Emperor's Trojans. Emperor's Trojans are not my uh, one of my best factions, so bear with me here. But I wanted to uh, go into more detail in one build order that um, number does a whole lot, which is the Echo Boom. I'm just looking through the maps to find a good map for it. Mm, probably something like Quest's Triumph, because you have a lot of points to get. And I saw a game where he used it on Quest Triumph. Um, the idea is that you get Echo Boom, of course, but um, the way it is played is that you only get Pleasure Cultists, like three squads on a map like this, and your commander out, and then um, immediately upgrade all your listening posts that you get uh, access to. It may be so that you have to give up one point or two, but then the idea is to get uh, tier two with a lot of economy get a uh, light tier 2 with only warp talents and then get to tier 3 and yeah unload your big economy on the opponent. Let's see what opponent we will get to meet on Quest Triumph. So the first thing we want to do we want to start a plasma generator, reinforce the builder squad once and then get three pleasure cultist squads. Reinforce and get one, two, three, three, second builder and then we want to get a Slanishi Lord. I actually want to get two plasma generators. For this map I'm not sure the caving order what would be uh, most beneficial. I think this is okay. Those girls take this and this. And yeah, I, I always uh, thought uh, why do you get plasma generators and not using your Requisition you have here and, and whatnot, but the idea is you will use it uh, later on the line um, Because you will upgrade all your listing posts so you get um, all the uh, Money you spend is immediately spent to get more money And yeah for the most part you want to avoid combat Possible. Um, the pleasure cultist squad does not get the uh, drugs, but the uh, commander does. And if the commander is attached to a squad, he will, uh, you could say, think of like share his drugs over there. This one is up. Immediately upgrade. This one will not immediately be upgraded because we want to get the. Uh, Point over here. Up first, but soon to be upgraded. There you go. The, that's part of the thing with Empress Trojan. You start with three girls. Okay. Avoid. Avoid combat. Reinforce. Wait for the Sineshi Lord to attach to. And we can fight. We also have this one upgraded already. This point now, upgrade this one. Now we will see what we can do here. Use the drugs. Listen post over here. Okay, this one over here. You move here. And we want to keep these pleasure cultists alive. Not just uh we have all yeah I do because they uh, provide some um power when being alive. Now it's about the time where we want to start to uh, Produce the conduit and stand here because he has quite a big uh, sidearm. We cannot stand over here. Shocks are almost uh, back in action. I think we cannot uh, stay over here. 
going to melee here and we stand with them over there. This one has been upgraded, so the Krieg is one of the harder opponents for this thread to work, but it's okay. We'll uh, make it work. So you see we need to do uh, some sort of reinforcing here. It's okay. We now try to challenge this. Oh, sorry, not with all. Just, no, we do not challenge this. We will get now the thingy over here. And upgrade the last point. This one is dead. This one will not go down. So we will retarget to the Griegos, to the Jaegers. And then we will need 300 or the next. They're actually me, abandoning it so we can repair it. Can immediately upgrade and one thing we will also want to get is grenades for the next year. Um, because as we want to go for uh, warp talents, the warp talents do um, need their grenades, to say the least. Okay, you have issues over here, I see, I see. Because we attack this one, they, they are coming to defend it. Maybe we can use the drugs and bring it down. Some more. Take it down. Let's go. All I wanted. More of those up. We can. Okay. <laughs> We can stand here a bit. Very nice, very nice. We got uh, the things, and once we got it uh, to tier 2, we immediately want to get uh, warp talent bands. We also want to get the um, pistol upgrade, and we want to get the dark knowledge pellets. The reason is that we. Uh, I uh, want to get the commanders with the plasma pistols. We may or may not want to get them out here as well. So may we spot to get warp talents inside the base. You need to remember that they cannot use their teleport right away. Want to be a little more careful actually. Then we get the damage increase uh, research as well. Remember to use the drugs in the right uh, time. Now the multitasking begins. We are, you see we are a little in a bit pickle as we uh, spawn them in right when they do not have cooldown. And we do have the Dark Knowledge Palace, we can get the uh, Slanishi Sorcerer. Once they have their teleport, they can do some more stuff. So now we need to focus on economy damage. And I may or may not want to pause here in a second, because I do have quite a problem with my multitasking. You see why um, some people can do it and some people cannot. Uh, so, so you see, I, I actually just lost a uh, warp talent, which is completely bad because I'm not very good. <laughs> you do not want to use the warp talents. Warp talents you can keep alive you know, rather easily. I want to get down this thing over here. Now we can jump out actually. Go over here. Another shrine. Really 
Now source resources may be mainly used to have another source of um, having a um, if another source of uh, plasma pistol, you know. Yeah, those are some abilities now. Cap. At this point now. You also can get, if you really want, to get some plasma pistols, but this is a waste of resources for the most part. You can use drugs over here. Structure over here, and there you go. There you go. We can now get yeah three. We have a lot of power income through these pressure cultists, which is more than enough. Um, we can get a banner bearer if we want to get more plasma pistols, more like plasma pistols, and now um, These warp tens are more or less free to go. You have also like this mark squad ability, which marks the squad. You see now like the, the warp tens are the pain everybody loves so much to fight against. So now we are hitting down this. On this, on the way to tier three, um, I think yeah we could go for a Sonic Scorpion or anything, but not really needed. Um, we want to get more power, so we want to get commanders to the squad leaders for them. And then we can mark them and continue. D gap. this because we can and then we need to jump out of here okay, good we also do not need to do anything more here um, and once we're tier 3 you can decide if you go for where's the banner barrel actually yeah okay can use one more over here <coughs> and get maybe a banner barrel, but now we are tier 3, we get for example Lucy's path and get for some terminators and maybe a vindicator and then end the game here. So, and this is basically game. So we can now get infiltrated warp talents, which is always nice. Something I totally forgot. And now we get some things called terminators, and with this we end the game. As we are swimming in money now, we can also get them the plasma pistols because why not? There you go. Not really needed, but you can get a melter gun on top. And once the first Phoenix got terminators out, we will just uh, move to victory. Warp talents actually can <coughs> move from the sides. We move over from here. We also can get uh, more commander hero upgrades. Indicators coming in. So this is now where it gets ugly. For the opponent, not for us, of course. Can okay, then just jump in here, jump in here. With drugs. Probably uh, miss miss micro here. Okay, 
go. Pop full, so we need to get more toes. Second Vindicator is here as well. But yeah, this is, this is now pretty much over. Once we have the pop cap, this is, uh, yeah, nothing you can uh, really do anything against because we are have outtacked the opponent, of course, we have outgrown the opponent. So the only thing you can deal with it is probably, uh, yeah, killing the stuff early, like being very early aggressive because uh, you you have more. Have basically not a lot uh, against you uh, or playing for you in the first few uh, minutes of this. All gets online uh, very late in that sense. Couldn't you just kill this bunker and then you are undetected? Yeah, so I hope I gave a little showing of this um, very um first very slow but then getting very extend intense uh build order it all grows on the back of the drug usage of emperor surgeon their strong commander of course as in tier one that carries the back with the uh, pleasure cultists in tier one staying defensive uh, as defensive as needed not as defensive as you can be just as needed you still try to take the points but if the enemy allows you to take more points you take it if it if the opponent does not, you do not. And in tier two, you want to make, uh, bring the front to the enemy, that the enemy must defend against these uh, warp talents, make, keeping him busy, getting your economy up, um, being um, very aggressive with these plasma pistols on your two commanders. You don't, do not need the banner bearers per se, but uh, the uh, Slaneshi Lord and the Slaneshi Sorcerer both get a very strong plasma pistol, so they can be used uh, in great, to great effect. Um, I also use here the Pleasure Cultus with the Fallen Missionary, which also gets a Plasma Pistol. You can get the Plasma Pistols on the squad itself, but as the units die pretty, pretty easily, it's not recommended, but rather take this um, economy you gain uh, to build, for example, more Pleasure Cultus swords, which increase your power, which I totally forgot you get, need to get the power upgrades. And yeah, then you build the uh, warp machine warp portal and go tier 3 basically and in tier 3 you this is the point where depending on your map position you roll over the opponent or you build up a little army and then uh, attack because you probably with this build order have more economy and hopefully also more tech than your opponent if you do not uh, it falls apart in the end but okay with this said uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video bye bye